Sir Daniel Fortescue, standing bold as you like in the foyer of Xanox Castle. Who'd have thought it? Not us, that's for sure. We's afraid the master of the house is out trying to plunge the land into eternal night. But come on in and make yourself at home. Those mischievous imps have been at Xerox spellbooks again. <sighs> They're shielded by magic, the naughty creatures. The Secret Diary of Zerok. One hundred years I've spent in exile, using my anger to keep me warm, feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my angst. But soon they will pay, all of them, including Fortescue. He thwarts my first plan to conquer Galomir, then posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval on his bony behind. I never liked him anyway, always hanging around the court, interfering. Where are you going with that dead cat, Zerok? Where did you find that brain, Zerok? <laughs> Wretched busybody. Spellbook. Contents. Raising the Dead, page 5. Putting a Town to Sleep, page 71. Looking good for the over 400s. Page 136. Robbing people of their free will. Page 207. Summoning demons. Page 268. Card tricks. Page 298. Know that if you release the entrapped souls in this chest, they will need help to be set to rest once again. Assisting these souls would earn one a place in Galamere history as perhaps the greatest of all its heroes. Is that something you would do, Sir Dan? If you do, history will be yours for the taking.
So bad enough, I told you it was magic, right? I've got so much here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy your chances, like? <laughs> 